One particular software that I recently discovered was this Vocal Screen. It is uh, basically a software, a free software that basically can do many of the things OBS can do. Not all of them, but for our purposes, it's more than enough. So if you download this, you'll find that the interface is quite simple and it's pretty intuitive. You can guess what each part does by just the icons. Like here, this monitor thing, it's telling you how much of the screen you're going to record. If you're going to record the whole screen or just a certain area. So I suggest you just go with the full screen. Next, you can choose what video you plan to uh, record. For, for example, when you are making a presentation, you want to record your microphone. You can just keep it default. Or if you want, you can change and pick one of the other options. Like if you pick the speakers instead of your voice, it will record the sound in Windows. So you don't want that. You want the microphone. Okay. So make sure that this microphone is selected. It's not crossed like this. If it's crossed, that would mean your voice will not be recorded. The third bar here, it gives you some settings. I suggest you don't change anything here except the format. Pick the format uh, MP4. In my opinion, this is good for sharing because it plays pretty much everywhere and you can upload this to Microsoft Forms. MKV is a good format, but I think Microsoft Forms does not accept this. So let's just keep it MP4. Here, this um, screwdriver thing, this basically tells you where exactly your video will be saved. Okay, so I have that folder open. So once I finish my recording, it will show up here. The next few tabs have some extra options that will not be useful for us. So that this is all. You might also want to go to this tab. This shows you the camera. Okay. For example, if I now turn on the camera, you'll see that I'm visible here. Okay. I'm visible here. If you want, you can flip the camera. Additionally, uh, you can change the size of this screen. Like you can keep it this size or you can make it big. Usually, you don't want to keep it this big. It's better to have a smaller size like this or this. So, let's keep it in a corner. You can also remove the window frame for a more natural look. Let me keep this in here like this. So now we are ready to record. We will go and open up our PowerPoint. Okay. So let's say that this is all of your presentation content and you want to record this. What you should be doing is you should start the slideshow. So let's say you start the slideshow from the beginning. Like this. Now you should be recording the screen now. So let's go back to this vocal screen or if you want you can also access it from the bar but I think the camera is blocking it right now so let's just go back to vocal screen and you can see there's this option to start recording so let's just click it okay so let's go back to the presentation so here we are my presentation slide one content slide two more content finally thank you so uh, we have finished our recording. Now, if we go back to vocal screen, we can click here to stop the recording. So, once the recording has stopped, let's go to the videos folder and check out the latest recording we have here, which is from vocal screen. You can see it has a pattern vocal screen, something, uh, the date, the time. So, if we check it out, this is actually becoming an annoyance. So let's turn off the camera. 
now let's check out the video okay so let's go back to the presentation so here we are my presentation slide one content slide two more content finally thank you so we can see that Voco screen has properly recorded our PowerPoint presentation. So instead of OBS, you could use this, even though it has some limitations, like it cannot record um, any sounds of your computer when it's recording your microphone, but you probably only need the microphone. So this is a proper alternative to using OBS for your presentations. If you want to use DroidCam or some other camera for example here i used my hd camera here but if i wanted i could have used something else like dirt cam just like i used it in obs so let's do that so you can see that droid can is showing me and instead of our regular webcam we can use the droid cam instead so let's select Draw cam instead and now click camera so you can see that what we saw in droid cam is now actually being reflected here so just in case you don't have a regular webcam you could use droid cam instead i'm not going to explain how to use droid cam i did it in a previous video so i'm not going to repeat that again but just letting you know that using droid cam is also possible for this software as well so that's all about Voco screen. I hope you can use this as a useful alternative for making your presentations.